guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing the slimes that I impulse bought from famous slime shops and I'm always seeing these amazing really aesthetic slimes and I always wonder if they're just as good as they're advertised. So in this video we're going to be going through some of them and I really hope that you enjoy it. The first collection that caught my eye was the Spongebob collection from Slime OG and this is Jelly Patty. So it comes with a jelly slime base, it's purple, very vibrant and it's scented like a light great scent and then it comes with a little burger clay piece and I was worried that this would be super dried out because in the listing you can obviously you see there's a lot of clay but this mixed in so smoothly and it was so satisfying to mix in and it was just a really fun creation to put together. The only disappointing note was that because there was so much clay I do find that because the scent was super light you couldn't really smell the grape by the end of it so it smelled more clay like. Imagination was so vibrant and I was so impressed by how well this lasted in the transit period because they ship from the US and I'm in the UK so sometimes with these types of slimes the colours will merge and it did very slightly on the top it just turned into a more dull colour but as you can see on the bottom it's perfection it was so so vibrant beautiful and because the texture is so dense and thick I also found that when you're mixing in the colours don't just fade instantly they last for a bit which was a really really nice touch and this is scented like fruity pebbles. The next slime is based off Squidward and this is called Thickwood and this made me laugh, it was a beautiful name and also a beautiful slime and this is so glossy, so thick and like you can see it's just a really beautiful pastel colour and this is scented on the site it says like a sugar bread but for me it kind of smells like it has a hint of cheese in there but like you can see the slime is perfection, I really like it. Chum Bucket is scented like strawberry cheesecake and I just thought this was a, such a nice airy texture. This is definitely very clay heavy, I don't think there's a ton of slime in there but honestly I didn't mind, I thought it was really cute, I love that it comes with this bucket as well, it was just really well thought out and honestly a really affordable slime. Next up we have the Spongebob and Patrick duo and again this is super affordable, this is also amazing packaging, I absolutely loved how sleek the packaging was for this and I just thought that these were so cute and would be really nice to travel around with. The Spongebob one was scented like pineapple, obviously, I thought this was a really clever choice for it and it was really crunchy but my mic unfortunately cut out so I don't have any ASMR of this. Patrick texture was almost exactly like Chum Bucket one, it just looks slightly different because it's in a smaller container. All the slimes came bubble wrapped and none were damaged and also she included the normal stuff like borax, akashi and sweets as well as some really cute extras like these mini charms. I am a sucker for an avalanche slime, I absolutely love how the colours merge into each other, I just think they're one of the most beautiful creations ever in slime and so when I saw Moonfall on dope slimes I knew I had to have it and I was kind of concerned about how this would mix in transit so just for full discretion he did send me the um, like components separate and then I just placed it and it took about five days for it to merge. This was a super super thick slime and like you can see it's beautiful, the colours are super vibrant but overall the slime quality is fantastic as well and this is scented like a tangy sherbet scent.
The next slide from Momo Slimes is based off the color of the year, which I thought was such a clever concept. The base was quite a wet, icy slime, and then you have a clay component on top, which is kind of like a color swatch, and then you put the slime inside, which is the color of the year, and you get to mix it up, and the clay was super soft. It was really, really fun and beautiful to mix in. It was such a unique concept. I've never had a clay piece that looks like this, and I really enjoyed mixing it. And I also found that the wetness was also kind of gone by the end because the clay kind of absorbed that. And when it was mixing up, I just loved the scent of this. It's a really nostalgic scent. On the site, it's described as like a night air scent, and it does really remind me of night air. But if I had to describe it as an actual scent, I would say it was like a scented candle that kind of resembled a men's aftershave. Sakura Sun's cake I actually enjoyed so much more than I thought I would. I knew I would like it, but I didn't know I would love it. And the scent on this is fantastic. Like normally slimes for me, even though they're really realistic, they don't smell edible. This smells edible. Obviously slime is never edible, never eat it, but this was perfection. It smelled so good. I've never had a Sakura cake, but it scented like a kind of like a berry scent with a hint of rose on top. And then the slime itself was perfection. When you mix it in, it was so creamy. Everything held in really well. There was no fallout on your hands. It was super crispy and a really, really fun process to just kind of mix together, but also assemble. So overall top marks for this one, beautiful, really unexpected favorite. Lucky Charles' donut was another really unexpected one for me because the base was kind of thin, so I wasn't expecting much from this. Like you can see, it is super glossy. And then when you mix in the donut bits, it was really fun to assemble and mix in. But again, I was just like, okay, well, it's just gonna be a kind of basic slay slime. But every time you let this sit, I find that the glossiness kind of sinks to the bottom and the clay sinks to the top. So you get to mix up again to a certain level. And I thought that was really fun. And the scent on this was fantastic. There are so many slime scented Lucky Charles, but this is a mix of donut and Lucky Charms. And there's actually, for me, a very, very slight hint of sweet mint, which is perfection. It's just such a good scented slime. All of their slimes came bubble wrapped and they also included some really cute extras like this little cooking kit as well as the classic stuff like slime care, borax and sweet. Pond slime from Rodum Slimes is such a beautiful slime. This one really caught my eye just because of the detail on the fish and it was quite a hard clay piece but honestly I didn't really mind because once it sits in the slime overnight it does you know, mix in and it's absolutely fine. And it also was a really fun process to just constantly be able to see the fish. This had a range of textures in there. It had a really thin, jiggly, clear slime and it had an icy base as well as some bingzu. And so all together it ended up being a jelly slime with some bingzu on the bottom. And overnight when the clay sat in, it added a bit of a clay texture. This was quite a loose texture, but honestly, I didn't mind. I thought the process was gorgeous and the slime was beautiful. This smells like the outdoors to me, but on the site it's described as having a lemon yuzu scent.
Rodum slimes always has really unique concepts. I've never seen these concepts done anywhere. And this slime comes with a mini easel. And then you have a clay piece and then some clear to put on top. And then it comes with a base slime as well. The clay I was kind of worried about, but it was super, super soft. I think on the previous one, it was just probably dried out because of the detail. And then the base was a really, really malleable um, snow fizz slime. So you could move it around super easily. It didn't need any work. And then when you mix the clay in, it just turns into a slightly clay texture, but honestly it didn't change too much. This is scented like a cherry scent and overall it was just such a fun slime. Next up we have Blushing BB Slimes and I cannot say enough good stuff about this because first of all the slime was really fun, it had loads of colours in there, great charms on the top and then second of all it had a really nice sizzle to it as well as a perfect drizzle and I know that rhymes but I honestly mean it, it's perfection, again the colours in this were gorgeous and the colour theory in this is so clever because when there are loads of colours like this you don't expect it to be beautiful but this ended up in a perfect turquoise colour, it looked like it was already coloured this way. In another perfect texture, this one started out in a kind of DIY slime aspect in that it comes with a icy top and then on the base we have some clear slime as well as some bingzu. But then when you mix it up, it ends up being a really nice jelly slime, actually the perfect jelly slime. And this comes out so juicy, so thick, and the process of this mixing was amazing as well so overall I just really enjoyed it it had a really clean scent as well I did find though when I was mixing it originally it was really really hard to stretch and kind of rippy and then obviously overnight it turns into a jelly and turns into the perfect texture Strawberry milk has a really, really good strawberry scent. It's not artificial at all. It's really realistic. The clay and, well, not the clay, the clear slime on the top um, is just beautiful. It really, really reminds me of their early collections as well. One of their first slimes that they had had these little straws in it. So it's a nice little um, nod to their past collections. And this has a really glossy, semi-thick base when it's fully mixed in. And it has an interesting mix of bingzu and slushy beads. And the texture is slightly thick, but honestly not that thick. It's kind of like a glossy slime but it keeps in all the beads so I guess that's as thick as it could get. Frog Prawn was like the Malazy soda float in that it had a icy bit on the top, some bingzu and then a clear and again the texture ended up being beautiful for this. The scent was very different, this was more of a fruity scent, obviously it has the really cute little um, froggy charm in there as well and it also had a leaf and I really enjoyed this, it was really nice, it caught my eye. Honestly if you're buying the Melody slime float, if you want a variation of textures I wouldn't get this one as well but I really enjoyed it.
last but not least, we have the Hello Kitty strawberry cake. And this was again, a perfection of a slime. It comes with a really thick base. It has some foam on it. And then you add some thermos as well as the clay piece. The clay piece is super soft. It's really easy to mix in. I didn't find that it changed the texture hugely. It just became a slightly clay slime. And again, it had a strawberry scent. It was a really nice strawberry scent. extra she gave me loads of sweets as well as the classic stuff like a cashew and some borax. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope that you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you very soon. Bye!